those heart palpitations anymore. No, actually, I'm getting really good sleep now. It's not like waking me up. Like, this is a, a miracle. <laughs> it really is. Because the heart palpitations would wake you up every night. Yeah, just like racing heart, and like I'm actually getting deep sleep. Excellent. Depression feeling that you had before we started. Yeah, it was really bad. Um, not, I don't feel like that anymore. Like I, I feel very like high energy, alert, concentrate. Like I'm, I just feel overall sense of peace mm -hmm. and happiness. Awesome. <laughs> Fatigue. Before we started, zero to ten. If you can quantify it, ten would be just exhaustion. Can't get up out of bed. I'm gonna say ten. A ten. First thing that you said, if you could maybe express it that way for people to realize that even more to the truth of what you're experiencing, you said you feel like how many times better? A hundred times better. A hundred times better. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, it's phenomenal. Um, symptom, those, uh, you described it as that was being constant and on a zero to 10 scale, the cold feet, 10 being the worst, zero being no cold, 10 is the worst feeling of cold. You said your feet were at a seven in intensity or severity, pretty cold feeling, and the hands were about a five. So what is the feeling with the cold hands and cold feet now? I don't have any of that <laughs> at all. It's gone. Totally gone. Yeah. Acquired just mental um, thinking mm -hmm. it was very difficult. Mm. And now after your first, or during and after your first protocol, you've had what kind of experience with your concentration and, and the brain fog and memory? Um, like a 180 difference. <laughs> I, I feel more focused, I can concentrate. Friends tell me that like, oh wow, you, you, you're remembering our conversations. Um, I, I'm like back to work. Mm. I feel a lot more cognitive. Excellent. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty significant. <laughs> Look at that face. That is a bright smile. Oh. 24 years of suffering with migraine headaches. Mm -hmm. And how often were those migraine headaches before we started? Before, I mean, it was probably once every two weeks. Mm -hmm. And how severe? Zero to ten of ten is the worst pain. Zero means no pain. Can you rate the severity? Ten. A ten. And the difference, and now your migraines are? I haven't had a migraine. And we started working together three months ago, mm -hmm. just about, almost mm -hmm. three months ago. Mm -hmm. And you haven't had a migraine in how long? About since we started, which was July. Okay, excellent. <laughs> so it's already, so, right from the time that we started it, yeah, they've gone away. Yeah. And yeah. that's sustained, it's improved. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Have you been to different doctors for those migraines over the years? Did you seek any kind of care? Any yeah, attention? I've seen so many doctors. I mean, over... For sure, over a dozen doctors. Over a dozen doctors, all about the migraine? Or we're um, talking about other things that we're about to get into? So. Other things. Hello, do you suffer from chronic fatigue? Do you suffer from headaches and even migraine headaches? Are you suffering from body pains? Have some of these different symptoms caused you to not enjoy your life and feel just uh, doom and gloom and, and not happy and, and not really uh, able to achieve what you want to achieve in life or enjoy certain experiences with your friends and family that you want to achieve in life. I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman and I have another uh, great uh, patient recovery uh, that we're going to share with you right now. This is Ms. Dixon who comes here from Oregon in my clinic down here in South Florida. And um, before I start out with or we start out sharing her experience right now, I just want to tell you that the speed of recovery varies from one person to another. Uh, everybody's got their own list of different kinds of infections, hidden infections and toxins in their tissues which cause these different uh, pains and fatigue and, uh, and various symptoms that people suffer, post-traumatic stress disorder and so on, that can be causing their, not can, that do cause these various chronic symptoms. So if we can just get into this with you, Ms. Dixon. Mm -hmm. uh, how long did you suffer? And um, we're gonna go over a few different symptoms. Excuse me, first I wanna list some symptoms, how long she suffered, and then we'll talk about the improvement that she's experienced, which is really is pretty amazing right now, if that's to say the least, yeah? Okay, so one of your symptoms was migraine. Let's call it migraines, because you said that you had two kinds of headaches. Mm -hmm. 
So just the migraines? So the migraines, how long ago did you, when was the first time that you experienced the migraine? Oh, I've been having migraines since I was probably 10. 10 years old. Yeah. And now you are, if we can share, since you're talking about age, I never I never want to ask a woman age. Oh, I'm, I'm 34. Okay, so, so 24 years of suffering with migraine headaches. Mm -hmm. And how often were those migraine headaches before we started? Before, I mean, it was probably once every two weeks. Mm -hmm. And how severe, zero to 10, if 10 is the worst pain, zero means no pain. Can you rate the severity? 10. A 10. And the difference, and now your migraines are? I haven't had a migraine. And we started working together three months ago, mm -hmm. just about, almost mm -hmm. three months ago. Mm -hmm. And you haven't had a migraine in how long? About since we started, which was July. Okay, excellent. <laughs> so it's already so, right from the time that we started it. Yeah. They've gone away. Yeah. And yeah. that's sustained, it's improved. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Have you been to different doctors for those migraines over the years? Did you seek any kind of care? Any yeah, attention? I've seen so many doctors. I mean, over, for sure, over a dozen doctors. Over a dozen doctors all about the migraine? Or we're um, talking about other things that we're about to get into? As well? Other things, but um, it, I just kind of like accepted, oh, I'm gonna have migraines for mm -hmm. the rest of my life. Gotcha. What were the other types of headaches that you experienced? You were describing about sort of like a, 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 a brain pain or a, a, a skull pain? Yeah, because I was in an auto accident mm -hmm. in, um, last year, a year ago in September, and mm -hmm. I was just really, like, severe brain shocks, like, just skull pain. And that pain only started since the car accident? Yeah. Okay. And so, or before the car accident, it was just the migraine once every, once every couple of weeks? Right. And there were no other kind of headaches at mm -hmm. the time, up mm -hmm. until the accident? Right. And now... Your headache, I'll say that, that kind of skull pain that you described, what is the difference now that you've experienced after this first vertical? The, the decrease, because you said they decreased and it was a pretty significant decrease and change in that symptom. Well, yeah, so like no migraines, and then as far as, yeah, just decrease overall, like I, it, it doesn't take me out, mm -hmm. you know? Like it's, it's more subtle. Now, um, when, when you say take you out, the head pain would do what? Um, I would get to a point where it would just, I couldn't function. I, when, when I say take me out, meaning like I had to go like lay down or like I really couldn't do any work. Was that all day kind of being kept in doors? Yeah, and yeah. Was there a light sensitivity with that as well? A yeah. sound sensitivity? Mm -hmm. all do you have any of the light sound. or sound sensitivities now? Um, it's, it's very diminished now. Mm -hmm. Like it's not as right in like intense. Mm -hmm. How much diminished would you say the, those symptoms? Or Probably half, half. Half. Fifty percent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and there was another problem that you had, which was memory, uh, brain fog, concentration problems. How long did oh, you wow. have the brain fog for before we met? The memory, the concentration Since problems. Last September. So uh, last September being. September of 2017. Yes. So this is October 2018 now. So for almost a year before we started, maybe yeah. 10 months or so, you had memory problems, brain fog, and concentration issues. Oh yeah, it, it was unbelievable. Like, <laughs> couldn't, it was so hard to do anything. Anything like? Like work, concentrate, focus, pay the bills. I mean, just anything that required just mental uh, thinking. Mm -hmm was very difficult. Mm. And now after your first, or during and after your first protocol, you've had what kind of experience with your concentration and, and the brain fog and memory? Um, like a 180 difference. <laughs> I, I feel more focused, I can concentrate. Friends tell me that like, oh wow, you, you, you're remembering our conversations. Um, I, I'm like back to work. Mm. I feel a lot more cognitive. Excellent. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty significant. <laughs> Look at that face. That is a bright smile. Uh, you also told me that you, you uh, there was a, a pain that you described as being hit by a train. <laughs> right. No, I do. I that is something I would say, and it's been a, 
Um, I must have been pretty, pretty in a bad space when I said that. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that was... That's really unimaginable right now. But that, Unimaginable right now, saying that you just can't, it's like night and day for yeah, you, of yeah. what it was then and what compared to how you feel now. Yeah, exactly. But hit by a train was meaning... It was like overall feeling like fatigue, meant like just being completely out of it to where like it impacted my daily functioning from day to day. And it was almost like that was the word, I, that was the only thing I could think of, like hit by a train because mm-hmm. it was just like being totally out of it mm-hmm. experience. And now that's gone. Yeah. Totally. Now, totally gone. Totally gone. 180, 100% relief of that. Uh, and you yeah. also talked about having cold hands and cold feet. And that symptom, those, uh, you described it as that was being constant and on a zero to 10 scale, the cold feet, 10 being the worst, zero being no cold, 10 is the worst feeling of cold. You said your feet were at a seven in intensity or severity, pretty cold feeling, and the hands were about a five. So what is the feeling with the cold hands and cold feet now? I don't have any of that (laughs) at all. It's gone. Totally gone. Yeah. And how long did you suffer with the cold hands and feet for? I don't even know what I put. Long enough to not remember when it started. Okay, so a good number of years. Yeah. Uh, you also said that you had heart palpitations, which are a pretty common uh, symptom for you. You have any of those heart palpitations anymore? No, actually, I'm getting really good sleep now. It's not like waking me up. Like this is a, a miracle. <laughs> it really is. Because the heart palpitations would wake you up every night. Yeah, just like racing heart and like I'm actually getting deep sleep. Excellent. Because mm-hmm. sleep was a problem. One thing, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, when you filled out my forms originally before our first consultation, staying asleep was a problem, falling asleep was a big problem. Mm-hmm. And now staying asleep and falling asleep are, are not a problem? Not a problem. At all. Awesome. Did you take medications to try to help yourself fall asleep before? Um, or stay asleep? Did you ever do that? No, I, I would take like melatonin and other stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it, it didn't really. It didn't do it for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you also um, said anxiety was a common problem for you before we started. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it really was. It was. And it, it, like I said, it's really hard to imagine where I was in that state, but I'm not, I don't have that anymore. Wouldn't it be great if we did have that video interview or recording of <laughs> how bad it all was, the way you described how bad it was for you? Yeah, I, I was describing something like being in hell or something like that. Mm-hmm. The depression feeling that you had before we started. Yeah, it was really bad. Um, not, I don't feel like that anymore. Like, I, I feel very, like, high energy alert concentrate I I'm I just feel overall sense of peace mm-hmm. and happiness awesome no more anxiety <laughs> no more depression no uh, there was another symptom you described as having uh, post-traumatic stress disorder PTSD symptoms or feeling maybe that was part of the anxiety depression pain did you do you have any of that do you still Do you still align yourself with that kind of diagnosis or that description of PTSD now? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. And it's not constant when we first talked. It's like, I actually haven't had any noticeable anything Uh, in the last last three months. In the last three months. I won't get into anything too personal about your past, but this PTSD was, there was some certain personal certain things that occurred in your life that Mm -hmm. had brought that type of sense or Mm -hmm. or lack thereof normal sense that PTSD that those symptoms on we don't have to get into any detail I'm just saying there there were some yeah there was there were some situations that occurred in life that brought that on and that's even with those situations still being in your past we can't erase the past but that whole PTSD experience was gone yeah. Or it seems to be at this point it's very diminished you had about three months of it yeah I haven't had any triggers or anything Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, just like normal er- everyday stress stuff, but like the thing is, is even that's diminished and mm-hmm. it's not constant. Like where I was before, it seemed like it was like on all the time, those responses. And it's not like that. Excellent. And what you just said a f- few minutes ago about the fatigue level, how bad was that fatigue before we started? Zero to 10, if you can quantify it, 10 would be just exhaustion. 
can't get up out of bed. I'm gonna say ten. A ten. I I mean, I I was definitely pushing myself just to like get answers and get help, even like coming here, you know. But I mean, it it took a lot of a lot for me. Um, yeah, I would say a ten. Ten. And was that every day? It felt like every felt day. Like every day. Yeah. How long had you felt that ten of a? Can I call that chronic fatigue? Sure. Okay. I mean, I'm not just. I mean, would you consider it that way? Did you ever phrase it that way? Did other people phrase it as chronic fatigue syndrome around you, or you just never looked for an, a diagnosis? I didn't or, really look for a label or anything, but I, just I, I guess I just knew I was tired all the time. Yeah. And so, how long had you been experiencing that incredible fatigue for? Um, at least over a year. Mm -hmm. What did you do to try to alleviate the fatigue? Or did you try anything at all? Were there different doctors? Were there supplements that you took? Was, was there anything that you Yeah, tried to do? I was trying everything, really. I was doing a lot of different things. Um, supplements, eating different, different diet. Um, right, you tried the no dairy and no gluten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that didn't make a difference? Not to this level. How much of a difference did the diet change before we started? How much of a difference did it make in your fatigue or your energy level? To now? No, between, not now, but I'm saying before we started when we made oh. some different changes in diet or supplementation. Um, well, it's hard to say, like a little bit maybe, but there were, I think there was just other things going on. Absolutely. Yeah. Which we found. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the difference between then and now, you're the first thing that you said, if you could maybe express it that way for people to realize that even more to the truth of what you're experiencing, you said you feel like how many times better? A hundred times better. A hundred times better. <laughs> That's incredible. Uh, That's phenomenal. Um, let me ask you this. How many over the past years, you said you saw about a dozen different doctors? Mm -hmm. What kind of doctors, what kind of physicians were you going to for these, for the headaches, for the pain, for the for the emotions, for the for the fatigue, for 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 the cold hands, for all of these. What, how many? What, what, oh. I'm sorry. What kind pra of different doctors were you um, seeing? There were doctors, pra um, this practitioners, naturopaths. Um, there were um, body workers, um, MDs, emergency doctors. Really, all kind. Just the whole spectrum. And what did they all describe when you went to the ER or to the MDs? What did they describe this as? Um, a lot of them said I just had anxiety. Mm -hmm. Did they medicate you? Or uh, try to medicate you? No, if they did, very rarely they would, sometimes they would give me medications, but then it ended up just making me either not noticing any difference or just worse, and then mm -hmm. I would just stop. Just stop taking it. I want to just cover a couple more things, and I totally appreciate you doing this. I think this saves some other people out there um, who are suffering. You, a couple of things that you filled out in my forms. You filled out in my forms here that one was that you, how often did you not feel like you were not enjoying life? And that was an always feeling. Like, for sure, in the last year, it was very, like, most things I did not have interest to do or didn't want to do. Mm -hmm. And now you feel like you're getting back to enjoying life again? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you also, uh, another symptom here was that you you felt dread or impending doom. Yeah, I mean, it's, I don't know how else to describe it, but if you're, if you're suffering out there and you're feeling like I was feeling, I mean, you know, just there is hope out there. And yeah, I mean, I was really kind of at my, at the end, you know, of like what, of options what I was going to do because I almost was like I didn't think there was anything that I could do hmm. and those feelings of dread or impending doom are gone they're gone yeah totally gone totally gone totally <laughs> which is hard to it's believe beautiful. but they are uh, and you felt overwhelmed and you felt you just it was all just a very negative experience before we started together just a very down yeah and I think a lot down. of it just a lot of it had to do with just clearing things out that were in the way. Mm -hmm. Which means what we found in the protocol. Right. Thing. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so overall, 
and I'm sorry, there was one more symptom that you talked about when you, you would get certain feelings of like a tremor in the neck or head. Yes. Yeah. And that's actually what had me um, find one of your videos. And because, yeah, I was having tremors in like, like, I didn't know what was going on with me. I was like, do I have some kind of onset of something? Mm -hmm. It was really scary. And when you don't know what's going on. And now the head, that head kind of twitching of the muscle head tremor, trembling kind of experience, is that gone? Yeah, I haven't had anything. Totally gone. How mm -hmm. frequent was that happening before we started? Um, I mean, like definitely every, weekly. Every week? Yeah, every could week. could be on and off throughout the week, yeah. but it was happening every week. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's sort of gone. And you also said that you felt like a shake in the left hand. Body shakes on shaking the left hand. Oh yeah, there was definitely times um, just like I thought I had some like neurological things going on wasn't sure mm -hmm. but yeah it it was it was all scary I didn't know what was going on mm -hmm. and it's all seems to be gone yeah and so far sustained for about three months right now mm -hmm. and we're just getting into our second protocol from our second examination today excuse me the bottom line is we've got to be able to use some very unique examination strategies what did you tell me when we were on the exam table you're telling me about you said about you've got some friends and family who are just wondering what's going on with you that you're doing so well. Yeah, right? they're and just like, you look really good. Like, what what are you doing? Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I did change my diet and things, and I, I lost weight, but that is... That's How much weight did you lose? 30 pounds. Phenomenal. Wow. <laughs> and that, a very was, short period of time. that was not my intention, really, mm -hmm. but that's part of being healthy and mm -hmm. getting my body back to in alignment. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, where was I going before? I'm sorry, that when you told your family and friends who have gone to different doctors for whatever, what did you say that they have to do what? They have to think? Think about, to look, step outside. Step outside, look at, if you're not getting the results that you want, look for another doctor. Because it's really, why would you keep going to someone who's not helping you? And you, and you if they're not getting the results, you need, it's time to look hmm. for and other it's options. Been totally different type of experience yeah so the bottom line is we've got to be able to use different types of neurological testing methods and a very unique insight in being able to find the different hidden infections and toxins and that's just what we did for you in the first round and the second round here but to find the different hidden infections and toxins which get into various parts of the central nervous system in the spinal fluid and the lymph and the meninges and the brain and the organs and provide safe and effective remedies that clear out those different infections and boost the strength of those tissues that we find are weakened by these different infections and toxins. And hopefully after your next protocol, when I see when we're improving again after this one, that even if you are can get any better than where you are right now, which there still is a little bit of a headache you described it's like down to like a two, I think you said with the, not the migraine, migraines are gone, but they're, there's kind of like a bruise in, in, the, in, the, in the brain or the skull. So uh, that was really the one major one that's left over out of all the initial symptoms, but everything else is cleared away. And, and after you get a little better after this one, if we're gonna see you again, to be able to share, you know, just a little more improvement and let people know that they can really get better. Oh yeah. Definitely. No doubt. All right. Thank you. So <laughs> is there anything else that you want to say to anybody out there who's troubled with their symptoms like yours? And is there anything else that you need to put in? Or? Just don't give up. And there is hope, um, mm -hmm. as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. you can contact. Thank you very much for sharing with everyone. Yeah. I appreciate it. You can contact my clinic at 954-370-3100. 954-370-3100. I'll even put the email address to my clinic assistant who can help you schedule your first appointment in your journey towards getting well. And there's a lot that went behind this type of evaluation of our art. There's a lot of years of study that I put into this, a lot of effort, and to be able to provide uh, people with incredible results like this. I can't say this enough, that the speed of results vary from one person to another, okay? But you can get better. We just have to be able to take the time, the right approach, and be able to find those hidden infections and toxins. I'll say it again, find the hidden infections and toxins which are not found on an MRI, not found in a blood test, not found in a CAT scan, not found in uh, other types of endoscopy or colonoscopy studies or nerve conduction tests, whatever they're going to x-rays, whatever they're doing with you or for you to try to help you find out what's going on. They're just not finding it. We have to think outside the box. We can find them 
these hidden infections and toxins that are causing the breakdown in your body and help clear them out. And there's only one way this can go is you're getting stronger. Okay, I look forward to helping you again. The number is 954-370-3100. We look forward to helping you soon.